Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to find a date whether it's between two dates. In this tutorial you will learn calendar, date and if tax functions as well. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel for more Power BI videos. So let's go to the tutorial and see how we can find a date is between two dates. Right, in this tutorial I will not use any data table, instead I will create the data table within the Power BI desktop. Right, first I have to go to data section or else you can go modeling sections as well or else I can go data section and here in the table tool I will create a new table. Right, so new table I will create a new table with one column, right. So. Uh, here I use the calendar function. So calendar function returns a table with a one column of dates between start date and end date. So I have to define uh, start date and end date then the table will populate with one column with the dates in between the date which I am given here. So start date I will define as uh, date function. So uh, then I will write year 2017 month uh, let's say 06 then date 01 so that will be the start date and end date would be date 2020 December 31st right so now uh, my uh, table creation function is finished so let's see So as you can see now table is created with one column named date and it has dates starting from 2017 uh, June 1st to uh, 2020 December 31st. So that is how we use calendar and date function in order to create a new table populated with dates. Right. So now my next task is if the date 2017 June 1st is uh, in between 2017 June 1st to 2018 May 31st then I have to define it as financial year 18. Then if the date is 2018 June 1st to 2019 May 31st then I have to define it as financial year 19. Then if the date is 2019 June 1st to uh, 2020 May 31st then I have to define it as financial year 20 so so on I have to define so let's see how we can do that uh, by using the if condition right first uh, I will create a new column right so new column I will name it as financial year right so then it's time to write some if conditions if uh, then I have to say table date is uh, greater than or equal date uh, sorry table date is less than or equal 2018 May 31st that will be the one condition and then I have to add another condition then I will put another one here and and table date is greater than or equal date 2017 June 1st then I have to say it should be financial year 18 so just I will say not applicable to this one and show you the result of this yes, some okay now it should be fine if there's an error I think the error cause here right right as you can see now if the date is uh, in between these two then I can say 
it is in financial year 18. Let's see if we go to the other date which is not in between these two dates. So as you can see it is defined as not applicable uh, as per now. Right so now we uh, write uh, another statement as well. So here in the if condition else if condition I will write it as alt enter to go to a new line if table date is less than or equal I will say date 2018 2019 May 31st and so for using the end I will add another one here and and table date greater than or equal date 2018 6 1 right then it should be I would say F Y 19 so I will add a not applicable statement for the others right so my function looks like this so let's see how I data how my data is uh, now uh, populated so as you can see now if fail if I 18 is there and here afterwards from this date onwards it shows as financial year 19 so by using this if conditions nested if conditions you can write this function up to any date that you want and uh, this is how you find whether a date is in between another two dates so there are some other methods as well to find this this is the one of the method right and hope you uh, like my video and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more power bi videos so i will weekly update uh, or upload uh, new videos you can watch and learn thank you and keep in touch